Hey there, everybody. Welcome once again to another edition of Comic Book Geezers. I'm your host, Pete. As you can see, we've got an empty chair here uh, once again. So our uh, buddy Wild Bill, he's off actually in outside of New York State doing a couple of live gigs this week. So he wanted us to make sure we continued on with the Doctor Strange episode, which we've talked about for a while. And of course, you know, he's got this whole like black book full of buddies on the comic circuit that he's known for years so he's been able to get us yet another special guest to fill in for him today and it's someone who he's idolized for a long long time but he's become pretty good friends with in recent years it's someone who i like quite as uh, quite as well and i think you're going to enjoy having him here today so would you all please welcome mr cheech marin from cheech and chong hey Pete, man how's it going man it's going good nice hey to meet you. comic book lovers how's it going man I love comic books, but I don't know a lot, but hey, it's nice to be here. Thanks so for know. letting me come in here, Rob. Bill. appreciate so, it, man. So you don't know a lot about comics? Uh, not really, man. Not really. But okay. I know that they are cool. Okay. You know? They are very cool. And I think you, if you don't know much about comics, you're going to like this character. All right. Well, let's bring it on, man. Let's yeah. see what you got. So Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange, master of the mystic arts, right? Mystic so arts. So not, okay. a, not a conventional superhero like we know. Or like a sorcerer. Kind of like a sorcerer. A warlock, yeah. huh? Yeah, sort of. Magician? Magician is much more close to what he was. All so, right. Debuted in July 1963 in Strange Tales number 110, co-featured with the Human Torch. Uh, eventually, it became a co-feature with Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, Written by Stan Lee? Stan Lee. Yeah. All right. Stan Lee and drawn by Steve Ditko. Oh, the Spider-Man dude. Do you know your comics? I, I, I got a little cheat sheet over here. You know, <laughs> I don't want to look too dumb. You know. <laughs> so yeah. I, I got a ton of old Strange Tales issues, but most of them have Nick Fury, Agent of Shield on the cover. So I bought some of the really cool ones with Doctor Strange, starting with number one forty six. Look at that, Steve Ditko. Oh, very artwork. cool, man. Okay, I like it. Look at the villain in the back. All right, and then uh, Enter Kal Kalu. All right, for issue number 148. Kalua. Kalua. You like Kalua? Kalua, yeah, man. It's from Mexico. <laughs> Damn right I like it. Tasty drinks. They like coffee. Yes. Issue number 150. Umar. Just fantastic. Look at the colors. Umar Fubar. What do you think of her? she got a nice body. She reminds me of this girl Fifi I used to date. <laughs> did, that, did that end well? Not very good. <laughs> well, she's back again here for issue number 152. She was a gold digger, man. I had to cut her loose. Uh, yeah, cause you made a lot of money in your career, haven't you? Um, not enough, though. No? Well, what did you spend all your money on? Uh, I can't say. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. All right. Clea must die. Clea obviously was the uh, human woman. My money who... went up in smoke, man. Oh, yeah. That, that explains that. There you go. That's the politically correct way to say it, man. <laughs> 156. Nice cover, man. I like that cover. Yeah, isn't that pretty cool? Very good. One of my personal favorite covers for Doctor Strange coming up. This one looks good. 158. Oh, that's cool, man. So again, you know, mysticism, sci-fi, all that kind of thing. Uh, here we got Baron Mordo. It was Arch Enemy for issue number 160. There he is right there. It kind of looks like Doctor Strange, but it's a little, little different. Almost the same. Yeah, well, he's got... Uh, He's got the little goatee thing going. This particular one, number 162, this is original, bought off the newsstand when I was a very small kid. Uh, actually, it was probably bought for me. You can see it's in pretty rough shape. But really cool cover there. Uh, and then Nightmare is back for number 164. Nightmare. <laughs> very eerie name. Yeah, bet you get a lot of nightmares, right? Uh, once in a while, yeah. 168. Very cool, man. So, issue number 168 was the last Strange Tales at the time. And like they did, you may not know this, but with the Incredible Hulk, instead of just starting off, Doctor Strange was a popular character, they wanted to give him his own book. Instead of starting off with issue number one, they started off with issue number 169. 69. 169. <laughs> That's 69. a good number, it's man. It's a very good number. It's a very good number. I don't have to do a 69 with one. By yourself. No, it's got to bite. Yeah, it Unless you're a dog. <laughs> then you can reach no problem. I've seen it done before, man. You probably do. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather forget it, but yeah. <laughs> so I don't have 169. It's uh, pretty expensive, obviously, with the Doctor Strange movie and stuff. But I do have 170. Okay. Which is oh, pretty neat. Good, man. So uh, not quite yet, but with the next issue after this one. So 171. 
Okay. Starting with issue 172, we've got a familiar face doing the artwork, Mr. Gene Colon, who would pretty much, and of course Dormammu, his, his arch villain, awesome villain. Mr. Colon would actually be uh, Very cool, man. synonymous with uh, Doctor Strange for Oh, this numbers. looks good. Yeah, look at this. The power in the pendulum. How's your buddy Tommy Chong doing these days, Cheech? He's doing all right, man. We we'll yeah. keep in touch. Yeah. Sometimes we tour. We've been we reunited, you know. We were separated there for a while. Like in 1986, we kind of broke up for a while, you know. He kind of went his way, did his thing. I went my way, did my thing. But we're back together now. We tour. No other movies in the world. No, no other movies. We don't need to, man. We already made it, you know. <laughs> it's good to be on top, you know. That's right. It's good to be the king. That's why Wild Bill, you know, he's on the bottom, you know. He's way on the bottom. That's the way I like it. Stay down there, Wild Bill. You're never going to make it, dude. You're a good guy, but you ain't going to make it in the comedy business. He's going to make it with this show. He'll never make it in comedy for three reasons. Number one, he's funny. Number two, he don't do stand-up. Number three, he's white and not Jewish. And that's it. <laughs> that's it, man. Because the Jewish people, they control entertainment business comedy, and they ain't funny. They ain't funny, man. So if you're funny... It's... You're funny, they don't like you. And especially if you don't do stand-up. I keep telling them, you don't need to do stand-up. Stop the impressions, man. <laughs> but he goes, he does impressions, and the people in the audience, they like him better than the other stand-up amateurs who are no good, you know? He's doing his own... He's marching to the beat of his own drum. And that's why he ain't gonna make it. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I, you, may I wish him have, all the, you may want to have to have a talk with him. I, I I've wish, tried. I, I wish, me too, you know. I wish him all the best, you know. But, he, you know, he's sticking to his guns. And I admire, I respect that, you know. So, you know, you know, we'll see what happens, you know. Uh, you don't know this, but he auditioned for America's Got Talent in 2012 as an impressionist. And he nailed his audition. And they didn't call him. I told him, dude, and you go in there dressed like a transvestite. Because a transvestite always on that show every year with no talent. <laughs> he got talent. But if he dressed like a transvestite, he'd have made it on there. <laughs> he called me up, Cheech, I didn't make it. I told you, did you dress like a transvestite? He said, no. I said, there you go, <laughs> dummy. I told you, transvestite always get on the show. <laughs> well, maybe next time, right? It's never too late. It's never too late. I dressed in drag. Did you ever see my photo where I'm in a tutu? No. From my first movie, no. oh, Up I... in Smoke, I wore a tutu, man. Look, the right. movie was successful. You got to dress in drag. See that? It's the little things, guys. It's the little <laughs> things. Number 177, you'll see a little difference here. Stephen Strange has got a different costume with a mask. Uh, the fans didn't like this. I thought it was pretty cool. I love this cover. I, I thought he kind of looked cool this way. They wanted to make him look a little bit more like a superhero, but the fans kind of revolted against that. Another one with the mask? Yeah, no, no. yeah, there's only a couple of them. So here he's with the Black Knight. So now, are these more collectible now because of the mask? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Not I, I got it. I got it. Oh, I like this one. Show them. Yeah. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Right. And then here, Batman Eternity. I love this cover. Look, look at how cool this. And this is a you know what? This looks like a year old book. Villain. Yeah, look at that. That's just great, and wow, I believe man. this is the second to last issue with the uh, with the, the the mask. Okay. The end of the mask. And then here he's fighting the evil nemesis of the the X Men. He's also a mutant, the Juggernaut. Look at that big guy. Oh, the Juggernaut! Yeah. Didn't he fight Spider Man? He did. And the Hulk. The Hulk and the X Men. He'd been around the Juggernaut. So here's the last issue, okay, of this run, one eighty three. Okay. So basically, back to history. So, in uh, 1971, okay, they decided. So these other ones were in 68 and 69. In 1971, they decided to they launched a Marvel premiere book, and Wild Bill left us a couple of his here. This, this is one I so, like, man. This is pretty cool. Yep. So that's the big, hot, the nasty fist coming up out of the floor, man. Yeah. So for those of you who recognize this artwork, that's Mike Plug. Mike Plug, the guy who did Werewolf by Night and Frankenstein. The man thing. Right. Yes, the man thing. Yep. That's right. And Ghost Rider. Him too. So we got so Bill left us another uh, Marvel premiere, right? Yeah, here we go. Another Mike Plug cover. But from what I understand, this was the only Marvel premiere in his collection for a long time, man. Oh, he told you that, yeah. Yes, this was the only one. He had this since it was a teeny bopper. This is a teeny bopper? Cool. So after that run, so they moved. Uh, uh, it's a, so they moved uh, 
I believe this results, is volume two. Volume two. So in 1974, they started another uh, Doctor Strange run. In between, he also was a member of the Defenders, right? So this, this one says 1977, man. You better get your facts together, well, man. Well, I got some ones from 1974. Well, let's see, man. Know it all. Let's see. <laughs> so here we got uh, issue number five. I'm looking good, man. And here we got issue number 11. So you'll hey, see. Pete, you're really into this Doctor Strange dude, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like him. I kind of like It's different. That's what I liked about Doctor Strange. This is just not, not your typical superhero fare at all. This is very mystical, fantasy-laden stuff. I got a good one here for you. Uh, one of the two parts, uh, the other part uh, took place in the, the uh, Tomb of uh, Dracula. Uh, 14. Uh, Tomb of Dracula. Dracula. Very cool, Look man. that. Right, Gene Cullen doing the artwork, right? Very and cool. And this is issue number fifteen. Okay, again, lots of mystical things and demons and all that kind of good stuff. All right, here we got number sixteen. All right. Was that by monthly, man? Uh, I believe it was. Yes. August. Yeah, by monthly. And this is uh, August of uh, that same year. Okay. Oh, so his... I kind of went out of order with number 27. You did. That's how you jumped the gun. That's all right. We'll forgive I'm you. I'm a celebrity. I do what I want. You know. <laughs> I get around, man. He gets around. And then the last one I've got that I here today is number 20. And I just showed you 27 before. There you go. 27 again. Here it is. And I believe that run of Doctor Strange went up to issue 80. But they also runs. appeared in another title called Strange Tales, which had Brother Voodoo, Warlock, and then it flipped over to Doctor Strange. Yep. This is like from 1975, a 25 center. Number 184, man. Can you imagine paying 25 cents for a comic, huh? And this is the last one from Wild Bill's collection of Doctor Strange. This is Strange Tales, number 186. That's pretty cool. Definitely cool. So did, you see the, did you see the movie? Doctor Strange? Yeah, movie? I did, man. It was pretty trippy, man. Yeah. It's definitely cool. It did a good I liked job. it, man. How about you? Did you like it? I did. I did. I liked it better than I thought I would. Um, I always liked the character. I think they did a really good job. Man. I, I thought think they the did actor, too, man. The actor works I really well. I wonder if they'll do a sequel, man. They might. I think he's going to appear in the next Avengers movie, I think. So. We did a lot of sequels. Me, Cheech, and Chong, you know. Which they ones see? you like the best? I like my third movie, man. Yeah. Nice Dreams. Very cool, man. You got to see it. Buy it on DVD. Is it available on DVD? I said buy it. I don't know if it's out there, but just buy it, man. I need the money. I'm Cheech Martin from Comic Book Geezer. Yeah, we so thank so much for coming. Well, we really you're very welcome. Nice to meet you, Pete. Same here. You know, Thanks maybe, for having me. Maybe I, got a, we, I got a role, man. If you know what I'm saying. I got a role. You got some places to be? Big Thanks cool. To do. Yeah, that's right, man. I got the cha-cha, man. All right, cool. Well, uh, we'll see you later, man. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Take care. So that's uh, another issue of Comic Book Geezers. I am your host, uh, Pete. And thanks again to Cheech Myron for coming in and subbing for Wild Bill today. Till next time, uh, we've got all sorts of great stuff on tap for you. So uh, we will see you again real soon. So uh, take care. Bye-bye.